so this is a numerical that we have here with a 5 ohm 30 ohms and 30 ohm 20 ohm resistance and um, we need to find this value of vx uh, current source is given here and the current source the direction is uh, this is uh, upward over here current so the direction is upward and this is downward that's the difference and uh, this is the thing that we need to solve so how we can solve it like uh, what we can do we can combine these two we can combine these two and convert that into a resistor in series with a voltage source we can write like that and also this side also we can do the same thing so if we do in a simplest way this will be 4 5 j 20 so we will have a 20 volt resistor and uh, along with it we have got uh, 5 ohm 20 volts and 5 ohm will be the resistances equivalent of that now if we take the equivalent this is downward so accordingly the voltage source will be uh, like this and this will be 3618 180 volts and then we have here okay this is connected and in between there is a resistance like this this is 30 yep this is 3 um this is 180 and a resistance in series also to be connected so there the resistance is 30 so now we have the equivalent of these two over here that is equivalent this and these two equivalent is over here that is this one and in between we have got this 20 and 30 this 20 and 30 we need to write here 20 and 30 and this circuit is complete now here we need to find what is the value of vx now this circuit is a very uh, easy easier one so here what we are going to do is we are going to use the node analysis in this circuit okay we will just uh, do the node analysis our equation will be vx uh, minus 20 divided by 5 plus vx by 30 and here vx plus 180 because this is downward divided by 50 is equals to 0 and if you solve this you are going to get a equation uh, that equation will be vx uh, you will get here 1 by 5 1 by 30 1 by 50 is equals to this 20 by 5 and this will go there let's get 180 by 5 and that will give the value of vx is equals to uh, nearly 2 by 5 into this side is 150 and divide by 38 if you take the LCM and those and you will get this thing as 1.579 volts it's the easiest method to find the value of VX uh, by using the source transformation you can quickly find the value of VX in one side right now um, what we want to do is that we want to explode uh, this into uh, different forms uh, so what we will do is that uh, we will take this numerical and uh, and we will paste it over here and we would like to solve it by another method which method let us say uh, we will use the node analysis again um, but what we are going to do is we are going to write here the v1 and this one as v2 so this is going to be the complicated method but we will try to do it in this way also so what will happen if i will solve like this so what are the options is that i will write the node equation so this is the current which is going down and this one four different currents will be there 
so if i write what will be the node uh, at node v1 let us and apply the kcl then what we are going to get is v1 by 5 one current another current is minus 4 another current is v1 by 30 and last current is v1 minus v2 by 20 correct these are the four different currents we get one is like this six second third and fourth the second one is actually the reverse current is flowing upward that's why minus four and the last one is the difference of the voltage that's why like this so if we uh, solve that particular thing what we are going to get out of that is this uh, one simple equation that is 17 v1 minus 3 v2 is equal to 240 that we have got after solving this first equation let us say equation 1 now if we apply the kvl in this side also 1 2 and 3 so kcl sorry so in node v2 we apply the kcl again so what we are going to get so we are going to get the current uh, this current this and this so that is given as v2 minus v1 by 20 plus 6 plus v2 by 30 is equal to 0 and if you solve this you are going to get a second equation that will is minus 3 v1 plus 5 v2 is equal to minus 360 so this is the two equations we got right so once we get these two equations so how can we solve it quickly so we can rewrite that this as in a matrix form like this and here the v1 v2 we will take it out and this side we have 240 and minus 360 right and this one we can write uh, we can take it other side and we can write this as v1 v2 is equals to this 17 minus 3 minus 3 5 we will take it the inverse of that multiply with 240 and minus 360 now when we take the inverse of that since the 2 by 2 matrix what we'll do we will just take this here and this here and uh, we will rewrite that again so what will be the next equation will be uh, so here we have uh, let us just recheck this equation 17 minus 3 minus 3 5 okay and here we get this thing okay fine so when we take that inverse of that and we rewrite again so we will get 1 by del 1 by del is 17 into 5 divided by 9 this will be around this will be 76 and uh, this will be 5 and 17 this side the sign will change that's all 240 this is minus 360 and now if i write here 1 by 76 this is 5 into let us calculate 5 into 240 that is 1200 uh, minus 3 into 360 this comes around to be 120 and the lower one is 3 into 240 minus 17 into 360 it is minus 15400 0, 0. this will give me the value as 120 by 76 1.5789 and the lower one is 5400 divided by 76 
that comes around 71.05 that is what we have got is v1 and v2 and uh, this gives us a value of v1 as 1.5789 so this is what we get here what we write here let us write uh, this is a v1 what we get using this type of equation that is coming around 1.5789 1.5789 volts and we have also solved using that another method and here also 1.5789 this is actually we round it up this is also equal to 1.5789 volts so we get the same answers like this is the first one is this first one is easier method, right? And we try to do with this, it's a little bit of long. Uh, then we explore it and we get the same answer. So one can do in the first method, this is good. Now, uh, we are exploring it like if we can do in different, different methods, are we getting the same answers or not? So let me take another way here. Hmm. Let us, okay. Uh, we have the same picture over here so now this picture uh, what we are going to do is we are going to apply here mesh analysis right so mesh analysis mean that i will have a current like this one two three four four different currents will be there so let us write that so we'll have one current here i1 another is i2 Another is, uh, let us write in that capital letter only because we're dealing with the DC currents and uh, so here one current is here I1 this is another current that is I2 that's another is I3 that's another is I4 so we have got four different currents, right? So these four currents uh, we have and we, we still need to find the same thing as Vx so in this particular case, uh, the value of Vx will be equals to the current which is passing from 30 ohms register. So it is 30. I2 minus I3, right? I2 minus I3 will be the current. So if I will know these two values, that if I know I2 and I3, I can find what is the value of Vx. So we need to find, uh, we need to take the four equations will be there. We cannot apply KVL over here because there is a current source. Rather, we can apply uh, KVL over here and we can also KVL at this end. So those these two places we can have KVL. Here we can have the difference of the two currents like I1 and I2. Uh, difference of the two current is 4. Here the difference of I3 and I4 is uh, 6. Like that we can write the equation. Okay. So let us write. So what we can write is I1, I2 is going upward. So I2 minus I1 is equal to 4. Right. And uh, on the other side, this one. This one we can write again as um, I3 minus I4 as equal to 6. Right. These two we can directly write because from the KCL and just applying that uh, add up in a branch what is the difference of the current in that way this is two equation equation one and two another two equation we can get by applying a KVL over here and another KVL over here so if we apply the KVL in the first one what we get we get five of sorry we get five I one plus 30 i2 minus i3 is equals to 0 this is third equation and the fourth equation what we get is uh, from this side let us start 30 i4 plus 30 i3 minus i2 plus 20 i3 is equals to 0 so this is equation 4 correct so now we have got these four equations 
that we are going to deal with. So what we are going to use that uh, we will retain this value of i2 and i3 and we will remove these values of i1 and i4. Like i2, i3, i1 I will remove from here, i4 I will remove from here. That means we are going to substitute this i1 and i4 value from this equation 1 and 2. Okay, let's do that. And one again, you can solve it uh, quickly of your own. And finally, what you're going to get after solving these equations, you're going to get this, that 35 I2 minus 30 I3 is equals to, capital letter, is equal to 20. Another is minus 30 I2 plus 80 I3 is equals to 180. Now if you solve this using the matrix, you are going to get I2 by I3, I2 and I3, this in matrix form is equals to 35 minus 30 minus 30, 80. And you're getting the inverse of that. Multiply by 20 and 180. And you are going to get it here as, if you solve it, you're going to get this as 3.684, 3.6315. That's the value of I, I2 and I3. So if you substitute this value of I2 and I3 over here, so the Vx value will be equals to, the Vx is equal to 30, I2 minus I3 will be coming around 0 0.0525 and that will give you 1.575 volts so we are getting nearly the same answers 1.575 that's the answer here here also 1.5789 1.5789 so this is all if we just calculate a decimal take the decimal to a better value uh, let us do some decimals. So this was earlier we taken. Let us let me just do calculation of this and find out what is that value. This is coming around. We are getting here one by one nine zero zero. This is seven thousand by six nine zero zero. So that comes down to be. This is comes around to be 3.68421. Okay. And another is 6900. This comes around to be 3.6315. Okay, 8. And if we take a difference between that, that is 3.6421 minus of that, we are going to get here. Uh, this value as okay this was a let us just check me out this is three point three point six eight four two one minus three point six three one five eight we are getting here 0 0.05263 that into 30 will give us the value as okay 1.5789 so we are getting this value same value this decimal correction is also done so we are getting uh, absolutely the correct values in all the different cases so we apply here the mess analysis so we apply here the node analysis in this way also and also we applied the node analysis by using the source transformation and we find that source transformation is the better than um, rest of the methods right